Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is me again, Tywo. So today, I just thought I would come on here to share with you guys what I have been using so far in my pregnancy for my skin because I noticed that um, in this pregnancy, a lot changed with my skin. Even though during your pregnancy, you know, there would be a lot of changes, your hair would thrive, your skin would thrive. I think I've mentioned this before that, um, you know, you get all this nutrients, like extra nutrients, and it would show basically everywhere. <laughs> However, you, your skin is expanding at the same time and um, you're adding weights everywhere, everywhere. Your feet, your fingers, your, your skin, your stomach area, everywhere, okay? Everyone talks about stretch marks. Some people say it's controlled by DNA that if your mom doesn't have stretch marks, then you probably wouldn't have stretch marks. But I really don't know. I think stretch marks is, uh, is inevitable, you know, if you're pregnant. And anyway, I have stretch marks, you know, this is my third pregnancy. I am currently 36 weeks pregnant. Like I said initially, that is inevitable. However, you can still help your skin around your stomach area and, you know, like all over your body to kind of create this elasticity in order to affect dryness and like excessive stretch marks and things like that. You're definitely going to have stretch marks, but I think the stretch marks can be controlled in a way, but I wouldn't say, you know, you're not going to have stretch marks at all. It's going to happen. <laughs> Anywho, so like I said, I think at some point in my pregnancy update um, videos, I did mention that I went off smell, like off anything fragrance. I just couldn't stand fragrance um, products. So I had to stop using my cream that I usually use. Um, and then I had to start looking for one that would be suitable for my skin and that wouldn't be fragranced. At that point, all I could use was my oil mix. This is an oil mix that I actually made myself, basically by mixing two things. I'm mixing extra virgin olive oil. It's nearly finished. <laughs> it shows it's very popular in my house. So by, you, by mixing extra virgin olive oil and um, almond oil, sweet almond oil, they are both very, very odorless. You know, olive oil has got some, you know, a little bit of I feel like it's not overpowering and you know I was able to tolerate the smell anyway so I mix these two together it gives me this and um, I've just mixed it in this helm um, in this dropper because it's very very easy for me to apply all over my skin the fact that it hasn't got that overpowering smell you know this really worked for me at, um, during the first trimester and second trimester of my pregnancy when I could not tolerate anything fragrant and I would use this all over my body like on my hair on my scalp <laughs> on my skin my face my my leg everywhere and you know it was fine and i also used this around my my stomach as well and i think it really did help i haven't noticed any extra stretch mark in this pregnancy but so far i've, I've just noticed that i have the stretch mark that i had from past so that's what i've been using and i'm still using it now even though i'm like in my third trimester i still use this oil mix as well so it is something you guys can look into another thing is because your skin is expanding you would be experiencing dryness that's like your like my skin would li literally be peeling off on especially around my face so i went for this and i have facial cleansing wipes and it's not overpowering you know it's got chamomile extra and i love chamomile anyway you know i feel like Anything that is natural is not overpowering. I'm actually used to, to the smell of chamomile and it's, it's got this soothing, um, fresh smell. Like sometimes, you know, when you're pregnant, you, you are very, very, you get tired and sometimes you just can't bother um, to go to the bathroom and have a wash. <laughs> so that is when this wipes, this facial wipes comes in. You know, you can moisturize your face and just keep your face hydrated by you know by those wipes and i really love this one so basically i just use this to take off my makeup or any day that i'm not feeling up to eat you know i just use this to refresh my face very early in the morning and it's been very very good it hasn't got any overpowering smell you know yeah it's absolutely amazing it does the job for me the next thing that i want to show you guys is this body butter that i love so much oh my god i love it so much it is fragranced but i was able to tolerate this smell at some point in my pregnancy um you know from like throughout my first trimester my stomach wasn't like that big anyway so i wasn't too bothered about stretch marks but from about ending of my second trimester i had to start looking into using something on my stomach in, so that i can avoid that extra stretch marks and this came in handy to be honest i didn't just i've had this for a while um oh oh my god it smells amazing can you guys see i've been using it so much 
it smells beautiful it smells amazing this is um this is nature's best orange zest body butter it is very very it, it smells orangey but i love the smell uplifting body butter with natural orange oil it's got sesame seed oils and it refreshes and revitalizes. so this is something that i feel has been helping my stomach um, with that elasticity that it needs as my stomach grows i really 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 love this one i'm going to try and look for the links to all these products online and i'll leave the links below if you're interested and even if you don't find this particular one i think body butter is something that you can look into if you're pregnant you know for your stomach area because you know it is quite thick and it would help your stomach with that elasticity in order for it to avoid getting too much of stretch marks you know yeah yes i didn't experience any breakout at all but i did experience extreme dryness around my face like it gets really really dry to the extent that it'll be peeling off and I decided to go for this scent hives again. Scent hives has, has been very, very popular for me in this pregnancy, to be honest, because that was the only product that I found that wasn't, I wouldn't say it wasn't fragrance, but it wasn't like overpowering. Like it could pass for fragrance free, if that makes sense. But I wouldn't say it's not fragrance. So this is the apricot um, facial scrub. I absolutely love this one so, so much. It is very, very gentle as well. And this also works for all skin types. So St. Ives um, facial wash is something I've been using and like I said sometimes when you're when you're pregnant you know you sometimes you don't you're not up to like going into the shower to have a bath <laughs> because you're tired and yeah at least you know you can use this to refresh your face and to also get rid of those skin that is peeling off and to also like keep your face refreshed and moisturized and everything so this is something I've been using that I love so much in this pregnancy and lastly is this St. Ives body lotion. Oh my god, I absolutely love this one. This is a daily hydrating lotion and it has got the vitamin E. It improves the skin's health by defending against dryness and that's exactly why I bought this. Another reason why I bought this is because it's got vitamin E. It's got vitamin E. I don't know if you can see that actually. It's not it's not it's not focusing on anyway yeah that one has got vitamin e like i said i'll look for the links to all this product and i'll leave them down below apart from my you know my own oil mix you know olive oil and almond oil but this one actually i got it because it's got that vitamin e because vitamin e promotes elasticity anyway and you know it also helps your skin you know it's got i think it's antibacterial as well that can you know help you with your skin and everything it's also a 100% natural moisturizer i absolutely love this cream so much and it is not too fragranced it smells very 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 similar to e45 i don't know i think e45 is quite common e45 was my cream anyway but at some point i had to stop using it because i felt like it wasn't giving me the moisture that my skin needs but this cream is something that i think i might stick to even after having baby i just absolutely love this cream so much so that's everything for this video i hope this video has been helpful please don't forget to like this video if you found this video helpful the more you like the more view this video we get and don't forget to also click that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys